Hi, I'm Brent Johnson. Hi, I'm Karen Black. And we're at the St. Louis Pipe Organ Encounter 2019. Today is Thursday, it's the fourth full day of the POE, uh, and today we're joined by Karen Black, who is the Regional Counselor for the North Central Region of the American Guild of Organists. Of course, the AGO is the organization responsible for putting on the pipe organ encounters. Uh, it's a national organization, but the local chapters um, are responsible for putting everything together. That's right. Um, so tell me what you know about the history of the POE and how other chapters have worked to put these together. Pipe organ encounters have gone on for several, many decades, I guess, 31 years. Mm -hmm. um, and they have been so instrumental in uh, furthering the uh, interest and education of pipe organ. Um, they've been, at, at most regions support at least one POE each year, each summer. And all of the, all of the work, all the organization, the, the on the ground, uh, production of the POE is done by the local chapters. So the American Guild of Organists is, you know, the national organization for choir and choir masters and organists, but Correct. education and outreach is one of their bigger um, functions, really. So this is a great way to bring in new organists and, and, and reach new people. Right, absolutely. So many uh, high school students have piano background, but they may not have had a lot of interest or a lot of exposure to studying the organ. They might have heard them and been interested, and this is a great program for them to get their feet wet and then hopefully pique their interest to continue studying yes. back home. And we were just telling them a little while ago in a, in a session about uh, careers in music that they're all getting memberships in the AGO as a result of being here, and there was a round of applause. So right, was yeah, that was exciting, <laughs> right. Well, that uh, was uh, the middle of the day, sort of. We the They started, of course, with lessons and practices they usually do all at their locations, uh, and then uh, they got to do something really fantastic that St. Louis has to offer uh, and went and visited the Fox Theater, which mm -hmm. is home to a 1928 Wurlitzer Pipe organ, a Fox special, one of only I think nine that were ever built uh, and the only one that still exists in its original condition. And it was demonstrated by Jack Jenkins, who's a member of the uh, St. Louis chapter of the American Theater Organ Society. So there's a, there's a lot of overlap between those two organizations in St. Louis. great that they help introduce kids to the theater organ because who knows you know which one of those kids was really going to be moved by getting to see that unique uh, situation there and then of course I think they experienced some St. Louis treats like Ted Drew's frozen custard uh, before <laughs> coming back to Fontbon University uh, where again they had a little class uh, in music professionalism what it's like to be a professional musician uh, and you offered you know your point of view from a regional counselor but also you're mm -hmm. a professor of organ correct correct Tell yes us about that where are you right I'm at Warburg College in Waverly Iowa and I teach organ and church music and several other classes as well which organ pr professors often do right, so. so one of many fields that you know burgeoning organists can go can look to go into and not just playing the organ or being a church organist so right they got a lot of uh, different uh, ex viewpoints there as to potential careers that you know, trained organists can head into and then now we're on the campus of Concordia University where you can probably hear in the background some bells uh, we've got Stephen Ball playing the carol on mm -hmm. and the kids are having dinner and enjoying that and then uh, after that we're headed over to the chapel of St. Timothy and Titus to hear Ben Blassing game who is himself a POE alum from several years ago. Back in 2006 I attended the St. Louis Pipe Organ Encounter here and I studied with Pat Partridge, um, very dear man, very kind, um, great musical force in St. Louis and uh, well one of the wonderful things was the time allowed um, to experiment at Christ Church Cathedral Organ on the wonderful uh, Skinner organ there and get to 
sit down with a larger instrument, experience colors, experience balance in, in a unique way, and um, uh, Pat's expert instruction, of course. Um, I remember studying a Mendelssohn movement uh, with him, um, the loud uh, F or C major movement from the second uh, sonata of Mendelssohn. And, uh, remember enjoying my time and having a great experience uh, with a master class with James David Christie um, over one of the uh, Buxtehude chorales. Now that I'm faculty at POE and having had the experience that I have as a, as a student, um, I think it's important to give the kids a chance to experiment with pipe organs, give them a sense of play, of wonder that leads to improvisation and that leads to um, music making that uh, informs their repertoire decisions and their improvisation uh, decisions. Yeah, POEs bring a great awareness to the uh, American Guild of Organists chapter, um, both at a local level and at a national level, and um, we see even a, uh, an article about this uh, event in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, and it uh, gives a great awareness to the uh, overall community, in this case St. Louis.
And then that will mark the end of the full days of the POE. Tomorrow morning, the students have a recital at First Congregational Church, and they'll be uh, performing. Some of them will be performing for the first time. They only picked up the organ four mm -hmm. days ago, and they're going to be performing for their peers. So that's going to be a fantastic thing to see. We'll be bringing that to you, so uh, be sure you stay tuned. Thank you for joining me. And, Thank uh, you. I'm Brent Johnson. I'll see you tomorrow. This video was made possible by APOBA, the Associated Pipe Organ Builders of America. This is a professional association of North America firms engaged in building traditional pipe organs. They help make pipe organ encounters possible through their funding, and they make it possible for us to bring them to you. For more information about how these builders can help you have a quality pipe organ, visit their website at apoba.com.